All right, today we are talking about the Agero formula and we're doing this for a very, very simple reason. It was requested in my comments and a couple of different emails for me to break it down even more in one clip and make it so that even a fourth grader could understand exactly what I'm talking about. And that's exactly what we're doing. So if you have late payments, collections, foreclosures, repossessions, bankruptcy, judgments, tax liens, or anything else that you could possibly have on, have on there, like short sales or whatever, then this simple formula can be used to potentially remove that account. So basically all you're going to do is pull your credit report, you're going to look at your account and you're going to determine why the account should be removed, right? So we're looking at things like the balance, the date last active, the date last paid, the notice of dispute or the lack of notice of dispute, the failure to change the date last report and so on and so forth, right? And then everything that you could possibly have down in the payment history at the bottom of your account, okay? So once we determine what it is that's going to give us the best possible chance to remove that account, we're going to write our dispute reason. And that's when we're using the Agero formula, all right? So I made this really, really, really simple, all right? We have action such as delete or remove or even update, anything that's going to tell them the action, what you want for them to do with the account, right? If you are attempting to remove late payments, you're going to say update or remove. If you're trying to get rid of the account, you're going to say delete or remove, okay? Delete this account for inaccuracy, remove this account for inaccuracy, blah, 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 because blah, 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 all right? And then we have our justifier, which is because. But it's really, really simple. When you explain the reason why you want something to happen, nine times out of 10, it's going to make it significantly easier to get what it is that you're asking for. This follows that same premise. Tell them why, because when we support our arguments with facts, that's the only way that you are going to be able to remove these things from your credit report. If you just say delete this account, why? Why are we going to do that? You have to have this information to support your claim, your argument, okay? And of course, we're using the FCRA, the FDCPA, the FCBA, all of these things to support with a law, but we're not saying pursuant to blah, 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 unless there is a violation. We just know that it exists and that is why we know that this can work, right? All right, so now we need to tell them the element. What element in this account is inaccurate. The date last active, the balance, the past due, the notice of dispute, the date last reported, so on and so forth, right? And then we have our reason. What's your reason? Why is the date last active? Why is the balance? Why is the past due inaccurate? This is where you're going to go and look at the account and extract those facts and plug them into your dispute reason, such as these three different dates. TransUnion shows this, Equifax shows this. If you don't put those facts in there, then you have a very high chance that your dispute reason is going to fail, okay? The outcome is generally used for disputing a late payment, right? Remove this late payment and update to paid on time, never late, right? So this is generally for a new status. So now all we're doing is taking the facts from the report, plugging them into the dispute reason or into the formula and outputs our dispute reason. We're just putting the whole thing together. Right? I mean, this is really, 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 really simple. It's the same as learning algebra or calculus or simple, simple math. You have a formula, you plug the numbers in and you're going to get the right answer. This is no different, okay? So when we put our entire dispute reason together, our action is delete this charge off for inaccuracy. The uh, justifier is because the element is date last reported shows, and then we have the facts, which is the reason date on TransUnion, date on Equifax, and date on Experian. You don't have to say and do anything else. You already told them, delete that account, right? So the entire thing goes, delete this charge off for inaccuracy because the date last paid shows date on TransUnion, date on Equifax, date on Experian. It is really, really, really as simple as that. I'm, I mean, I'm telling you, I use this because it works. If it didn't work, I wouldn't show it to you because it's the same thing that I'm using for my clients and they're getting results, right? Obviously, 
The same thing doesn't work for all people, right? But we're not using the same thing. We're using a formula that has been proven to work year after year, deletion after deletion after deletion after deletion. And I can't tell you about what works for other people. I can only tell you and show you and prove to you and teach you about what works for me and my clients, okay? Does this work? Yes. Can it work for you? Yes. Can it work on collections? Yes. Can it work on debt by collections? Yes. Can it work on bankruptcy? Yes. Can it work on late payments? Yes. How can you take a bankruptcy and plug the information in? Well, if you look at your bankruptcy and it shows three different court names, you're going to say, delete this bankruptcy for inaccuracy because the court name does not show or shows this, this, and this, and the city and state are required to report in the bankruptcy court name, right? You can't just have it say federal. You can't just have it say U.S. bankruptcy court. You can't just have it say, you know, U.S.B.K.R.P.T.C.T. No, dude, you have to have it report a specific way. And this is why it is so important to understand and know and learn how an account should be reported. Hopefully this made sense, this easy, simple breakdown, and you should be able to utilize this for yourself or for your clients. And when you do get the results, come back to my video and uh, leave me a comment letting me know what your results were, what your experience was,